you seen it? I saw the first episode. Oh, my God, it's yeah, so good. It's a can... gripping new drama, taking uh, us to thrilling new depths every Sunday night. But how realistic is a submarine thriller vigil? Personally, I don't care. It's, <laughs> it's so good. So good. Well, the series has generated huge ratings and won rave reviews, but several veterans have pointed out various inaccuracies. Ah, just go with it, guys. Alice Spears taking the plunge this morning to find out more. She's getting ready to board the HMS Ocelot with former submarine captain Chris Reynolds. Uh, if you wish for peace, prepare for war. Ahoy there, Alice! <laughs> <laughs> good morning, good morning. Yeah, look at her. She's a beast. Thank the Lord she's in dry dock because they picked the most claustrophobic person on the team to go and do this. And I'm about to do one thing I said I'd never do in my life, which is go down a submarine. But the person who's going to guide me down there is Chris Reynolds, who is, uh, has served on a submarine. I mean, look at the length of her. She's unbelievable. You can see the fin there that Saran Jones went down into from the helicopter. I just beggars belief. Chris, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. We've not got much time, so would you show me around? I'm Certainly. going to be very brave, by the way. You're just going down through the torpedo loading hatch, so please mind your head as you go down. Torpedo loading hatch? OK, so this isn't the one that they go down and they, um, no. they slide, because in the first episode, you notice that Saran Jones goes down backwards. Sorry, yep. DCI um, Silver goes down backwards, and all the others are very coolly sliding down with their feet either side. I'm not going to do that now, because I think somehow... Please don't. That's going to end in tears, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. <gasps> wow, where are we now? You're in the four ends of the torpedo compartment. <gasps> look at this. Look, 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 look. If you're watching, you know exactly what that is. That is the torpedo hatch, isn't it? Torpedo tubes. Tubes, sorry. Yep, six sorry, sorry. torpedo tubes on board. Yep. How likely is it, Chris, that if someone dies on board, and frankly, I've heard about the cooking, it must happen that you put your body in the torpedo tube? You would try and put it in a freezer, but if the freezer's full, there's nowhere else on board a submarine to stow a body. So it could happen? Cos I thought that was a bit far-fetched, but that could happen. If it was me and you couldn't put the body anywhere else, then yes, maybe things have developed since then. But... Wow, and here is a torpedo. Look at that beast. And uh, a spare bunk down there, which in reality is one of the things that's been pointed out. That is probably where DCI Silver would have slept rather than in a bunk with lots of other people. Apart from the fact that women are separated, they have separate sleeping accommodation on probably board. Probably not for much room. longer, though, Chris. Onwards and upwards. Let's have a look. So, where are we going? Okay, you're now going through into the accommodation space. Okay. This is the first bit. It's like going in an MRI. Okay. <laughs> You have no idea how brave, and my family will know how brave I'm being right now. So this is the accommodation space, which is the bit in the drama that gets me. This is, what have we got here? Two, four, we've got about ten beds in, bunks in here, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, dozen, yep. Yeah. Realistic? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep, yeah, although on a nuclear submarine it would be compartmentalised. This is a diesel submarine much smaller than a nuclear submarine. OK, so the bit that absolutely made everyone go, Ugh, was when... Uh, Saran Jones gets into her bunk and it obviously triggers her because look at that space, the top bunk. And you could be down underneath the waves. I know you're not going to tell me for how long, official secrets and all that. You could be down for days, weeks, months. Yeah. As months. Long, as long as required. Months. As long Sleeping as required. in that bunk. I mean, unbelievable. I, I just can't even fathom it. Let's go onwards. OK, so as we go through... Another thing, look how much space they've got on vigil when they wander around. And look at this, I can barely get through here. So what have we got here? Senior rates mess. Senior rates mess, yes. OK. Yep. OK. Oh, look, we've got the, we've got the watch bill. Yep. Who's on watch, where and when? Who was on watch at the time of the murder? Was it a murder? Who knows? Come on, then. OK. Quick, let's show me. Going through into the <laughs> control room area now. Another hatch. OK. Another day, another hatch. Oh, these aren't hatches, are they? Doors. These are doors. <laughs> these are doors. OK. So this... Would people sleep in the corridor here? Yep. OK. Yes. OK. It's a tiny, tiny bit sweaty as we go through here. Yeah. OK. So on the left, you've got the wardroom. Right. And you served... You were a captain on a ship like this, weren't I you? Served in, I Sorry, served right. in Oslo in 1980 when she came out of refit. Right. And I was captain of her sister submarine, HMS Otter, in, uh, 2000, in 1991. Good grief. And it takes a special kind of person to be able to come down and serve for weeks, months 
on something like this. Did people honestly go a bit mad? I mean, I can't even be believe that you would expect people to do this. In my whole time at Sea in a Submarine, I've never known anyone be claustrophobic. <laughs> Perhaps they were just very quiet. Okay. Or Captain's wasn't. cabin, en suite. OK, wow, look at this. Look at this en suite here. Look at this. That's the captain's cabin. There we go. That captain's up to no good, I tell you. That's captain's up to no good. Wow, look at this. OK. So this is pretty much... Now, there must be mistakes that are being made here. When the periscope goes up, people have been complaining about, would you need to come up to the surface? Obviously, that was a nuclear submarine. Yes. This is a diesel submarine. Yes. You would go to the surface, wouldn't you? You would go to periscope depth. And so you're just pe peeking out a tiny yep. little bit. Absolutely, unless, unless you, you need to charge the batteries and replace the, the air in the submarine, then you would do what we call a snort, which is a bit like snorkeling when you go swimming in a swimming pool. It sucks <laughs> air into the submarine, runs it through the diesels, which you're not going to see today, yeah. and, out, and out through the exhaust. So those are the only real times you've got to periscope depth. I mean, Unless it was for an operation. It's reason. unbelievable. You've got to go up to get air. Your rubbish gets compacted and weighed down and pushed out. There's, it's just a completely different world, one that I couldn't even contemplate. I am loving the drama. Are you watching it, Chris? Of course. Are you loving it? It's a, <laughs> it's a drama, isn't it? It uh, certainly uh, is. It's so inaccurate, it's beyond belief. And the only thing I would say, I don't particularly like the way they portray the submarine service, who are highly professional, highly skilled, and that doesn't come across in the drama. That's, I, yeah, that's my only criticism. I have I to reassure you, Chris, that watching it, mm. and I am, and I'm gripped, I have nothing but respect for our armed services and anyone who serves on a submarine because I'm never, never, never on that list, I promise you. What about you guys? Alison, you fancy it? Um, I think I might feel a little bit claustrophobic, especially the bed. It's not much height. Be, I'd just wake up and hit my head. I don't, I don't know if I could cope with that. How does it feel for you? No, no, me neither. <laughs> Alice uh, is like, I, I, honestly, I'm done now. honestly, can't wait to get off here. Yeah. Really? <laughs> really? No. Yeah, Alice, stay down we there have, a little no, longer. I'm okay Show at us the around moment, a bit more. No, when the crew come in <laughs> through the doors behind me and I can't get back out, it's like a one-way MRI machine. Wow. And I can't... And I've had two occasions when we've been rehearsing where I've had to say, get out of the way, I'm going out, I'm going out. So well, um, we'll anyway, we've done it. Get, up there, really. get a bit go. of fresh air. Thank you so much, Alice. Thank you, Alice. Thank you to Chris as well. Um, oh, I love the series. Amazing. I, but do you know what? It's a, it's a good point. I, when I was watching it, I started thinking... It's just quite comfy. I googled while I was watching it how comfy a submarine. Really? <laughs> yeah. Would you, would you I, like to do that? If it was, if it was nice and big. Oh, and no, I, had, I don't think. And if I was an officer and had my own little bit. No, but you're there for months on end. Be all right. Anyway, anyway, still to come. You down there with me? <laughs> <laughs> no.